Hi, this is Lisa Allen, and in this video I just wanted to show you a recent change in version 2.1 of RSS Authority Sniper 2, and that is that we have integrated the Mozscape data to allow you to get domain authority and page authority rankings for the results here on the feed scrape. So this here, uh, if it's a blog, it'll tell you what page was ranking and then it will give you the domain authority and the page authority for that particular page. So the domain authority of 91 is for blogspot.com without the subdomain. And then this particular page has an authority of 67. So it gives you some more tools to be able to judge which feeds have the most authority and are the best to add to your co-citation feed mashups. Now in order for this to work, you have to have a Mozscape account. Now there are some very pricey accounts that you can get. Those provide a lot more data for other things if you want, but they ha do also have a free account which you can get, which is not very, you know, it's, it's completely free, but it gives a limited amount of data. And so RSS Authority Sniper is able to use even a free account to get the required data out. So before you start, what you want to do if you want these fields populated is you'll need to go over here to the settings tab and down here where it says Mozscape API settings if you don't already have a Mozscape account you can just click here and it will take you over to the page there on Moz that, where you can sign up for an account and then you'll be able to get your API keys and you'll put them here in access ID and secret key and once you've done that that's all that's required just save it and then when you go and conduct some searches you will be having domain authority and page authority filled in. Now you might also be wondering what happened to the old page rank from Google. Well the fact of the matter is that that Google has not been updating page rank for quite some time and a couple of months ago they started making noises that they were going to stop supplying it entirely and so recently they actually did that just a couple of weeks ago. They went and turned that off so that data source is no longer available and so that's what we decided to replace with the Mozscape API and you'll see that you actually get more information rather than less so we think this is a really good deal. So that's it for this video on how to use the Mozscape uh, domain authority and page authority rankings that you'll get in here and how to fill in your API key on the settings. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.